One of the biggest strengths of Payday is the sheer volume of weapons it allows you to use. They can be terrible, bad, average, good, or outright overpowered, as you would expect from a game with over 100 guns. Today, we'll talk about the latter, specifically assault rifles which are strong overall in the current Payday meta. Keep in mind that with the right skills, any of them can be turned into a decent weapon. So it's not like the ones you will see today are thousands of leagues ahead compared to the rest. Also, depending on your playstyle, things might change. The first four rifles on this list are completely interchangeable. Not all five of them, because funny balance changes happened, and one of the ARs had its stats skyrocket just a bit too much for what it's worth. Remember when AK-5 was bad? Me neither. A great rifle that you can fit into almost any build and be relatively fine. Hitting 100 accuracy and stability is something you can achieve with ease and ammo is hardly ever an issue. Does it have any downsides? This depends on your playstyle. If there is a downside, then it's the rate of fire. It's lower compared to some of the other assault rifles. I know some people prefer it over the rest exactly for that reason. Whether you share this opinion or not, it's something that you'll have to answer for yourself. If that is not an issue for you, then you definitely want to give this one a spin. To turn it into a beast, all you need is either low blow for crits, or berserker for the permanent damage boost. As long as you have either of them, there's not much you have to worry about. So, if AK-5 with the higher fighter rate is something you want, look no further. Nowadays, it can be considered worse than the former rifle because of the assault rifle changes that happened a while ago. What happened was the AK-5 being blessed by a damage buff, which sort of makes these two on par with each other. Maxed out accuracy and stability, good concealment, good rate of fire, good ammo pickup, this gun has it all. And just like with the aforementioned weapon, the only downside you could find would be its rate of fire, depending on your playstyle. Builds for it are the exact same, and either Berserker or Low Blow is something you would not like to skip. AMR-16 is a gun with a much, much greater DPS output, but as I said at the start of the video, you could swap its place to the last position on this list, and it would not be wrong either. So, what are the weaknesses? First of all, the ammo pickup. Boy, do you need to be careful with how you pull the trigger with this one, and that's great because it would be pure insanity otherwise. If you're trying it with something like the 5.7 as your secondary, then I think the lowest ranking would be very appropriate. However, there is a workaround to this problem. The first thing you can do is get a sustainable SMG that you could use to balance it out. But the best solution is just going with two maxed out ammo bags, and this is when the gun is outright unstoppable. Its damage is high on its own, but the moment you boost it further by even a small portion, not even 10 minigun doses will be able to stop you. In fact, with this clear setup, it definitely outperforms the number one rifle on this list as well. But unlike the rest, it has a clear weakness, and that's why I think leaving it in the middle makes the most sense. This is pretty much the same situation as with AK-5 and Union. However, in this case, I would say that the AK-17's lower rate of fire makes it better than AMR-16, as weird as it may sound. These guns have insane DPS, and this weapon, 
Having it reduced makes it feel more powerful and better to control, at least for me. It's a bit easier to maintain ammo with this one as well, but it's still hard enough for the ammo pickup to be considered a weakness. Both guns can achieve great accuracy and stability values, however the AK-17 can do so without costing as much concealment. The rest is very similar, and an ammo bag or a sustainable secondary is something you surely want for max efficiency. In my personal opinion, this is most likely the best assault rifle in the game because of how strong it is, but also because it feels so nice to use. Okay, now imagine if Union and AMR-16 had a child. That's all you need to know about this gun to realise how insanely unbalanced it currently is. Every other rifle either had low damage for the cost of higher ammo pickup, or higher damage for the cost of lower ammo pickup, but that's not the case here. High damage, high DPS, high ammo pickup, high stats, Lion's Roar has it all. I don't know why Overkill decided that exactly this gun should be the one to receive this treatment, but in the current state of this game, I think this is a deserved number one spot. Obviously, the previous two rifles outperform it as long as you have ammo bags, but this requires some points to be spent for the cost of survivability most of the time. In other words, this weapon is just too good for what it is with no downsides. And yes, I know some people don't like the long reloading of it, but it's only really long if you go for tactical reloads, and that's not something you should be doing either way. We can give an honourable mention to the Tempest for its crazy concealment if you treat it as a top 6, since I know lots of players like it and might be surprised to not see it here. Anyway, this is the list we composed and believe it to be somewhat accurate considering the points that were mentioned in the video. Unfortunately, 40 damage assault rifles are in a pretty garbage spot in comparison and none of them made an entry here. But what can you do? If you disagree with the list, feel free to leave yours in the comments. That's it for today, thanks for watching.